One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany, I'm gonna take care of your family as if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this, is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Your dad was like family to me. If, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just... Tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought. 
thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. Grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of... John, can I talk to you a sec? Bruce! I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I'd love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see? People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Many things to many different people. One thing I give you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met. Friends for life. At so many points in your lives. And now, he's gone. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. 
Not a chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. Ooh, disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. This just makes me want, I don't know, lash out. Shh. Shh. We're here to mourn. Please, use us me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Just tell him you're sorry and let it go. Go. He's very sorry. We both are. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. You should be allowed to enjoy the funeral in peace. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce. That outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy, real piece of work, calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer, and worst of all, he's... he's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. Though I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, just from the news, the guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Enjoying the view. Uh, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next.
Uh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne's still in one piece. It's the dead who deserve your sympathy. They have it. Them and their families. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> Looks like gang activity is heating up along 43rd. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. If this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. We all need to draw a line somewhere. It's what separates us from the scum we're trying to catch. I'm glad to hear you say that. The thing with Waller is her line's real blurry. Sometimes you can't see it at all. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler. Just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come out. Kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. It's just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vane, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. God damn it! It's... it's stuck! No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you.
Give me a good, honest crack house any day. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. One shoe is missing. The soul of the other one's almost completely melted through. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. One of his pupils is fully dilated. The other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. Saves with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. There are blades inside, and a lot of blood. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Hmm. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. That's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. More monkey statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll fight. I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. 
Now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. Won't budge. Must be locked in place. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. Must have been looking for the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Maury, he sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Maury for a while now. She must have known. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. One shoe, melted. 
Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Don't worry, Jim. I'm not going to lose this game. I'm not so sure. But if you say a thing, you usually do it. Monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, oh, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise!
Jesus. Ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe, it'll be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. Why are you doing this, Riddler? Haven't you killed enough? I have a lot of enemies, Batman. While they're still breathing, I still have work to do. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes. To want that government scum in your corner. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure. But she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time, but I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. If you're trying to manipulate me, it's not working. <laughs> I'm not trying to get in your head. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then... You already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. 
Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency? Smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? I'd tell you if I could, Jim. Now it's like that, huh? As I said, if I could. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? Whatever you do, this has to stay between us. Oh, does it? Because I, what, just happened to stumble into it? I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. If you really think it's important this stays between us, then I won't say a word. Batman, uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you. I heard your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. I understand that, Bruce, but... He's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. It became... Dear God! You did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. I still have you. And we still have each other. I won't always be here, Bruce. Uh, I'm sorry. Losing Lucius in such gruesome fashion, it puts me in rather a morbid mood. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. He's hacked their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives.
broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. Of course you can. Let's get this over with. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Oh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Uh, I, 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 I shouldn't have watched this. I'll... Uh, I'll go get that tea. Master Bruce. All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. And then match up the points found in both sound files. To the Sable... To the Sable... Bruce. Riddler. Riddler. Bruce. 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 The waveforms match. Two sounds have to be the same. Tiffany. Tiffany. That's a match. There. I've piggybacked onto Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating a launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. Not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy, from the funeral, from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Maury, huh? John thinks that Maury can get us Riddler's location. You believe him? 
Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Mori's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant, Eli Nabel, took a go at me in the casino, put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical, certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. I'll talk to Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way. Batman. Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure he'd want to know you were here. Wallace agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. You have Eli Nabel in custody. Take me to him. Nabel's my prisoner, not hers. Says who? Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. You seem rattled, Waller. Surprised to see you lose your cool. Not much use for sentimentality in our business, Ben. But you'd be wrong to assume I don't care about my people. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I'm here. Come on, then. Just remember, the Commissioner likes things by the book. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. You say anything I should know? Riddler said he had a history with the agency. Claims your people broke him, made him insane. That maniac was insane long before he came on my radar. He implied it was before your time. He can tell me all about it after Nabel gives him up. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. Dangling a 60-year-old man off a high-rise was certainly effective. You ask me, you could have gone further. What's your point? Use any means necessary. As long as you get Nabel to tell us where Riddler is. My agent's lives are at risk. I'll get him to talk. My way, not yours. I don't care how you do it. As long as it gets done.
Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that goddamn chair. Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. If you're worried what Gordon might think. Keep it off. Need anything else? I'm good. Work with me, Eli. Maybe I can help you in return. I'm so, so glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. You'll, you'll keep them, they keep her from killing me. Riddler said you had rules against that, against killing. against her. Where is he, Eli? I'm telling you, I can't do it. You don't know him. The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. You've seen his machines. He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. Riddler just dabbles in pain, Eli. I've turned pain into an art form. You don't understand. Riddler has a plan that no one can stop. You can't beat him. He studied you too well. And the agency? <laughs> they don't have a chance. He can destroy them anytime he wants with a phone call. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that can save me if I cross him. I block the agency cells, Eli. They won't work as targets. How do you know about that? I'm smarter than Riddler. It makes no difference. There's no getting away from him. He could be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. There's nothing you can do, Batman. We'll see about that. Wait, is that... That signal! You're calling a missile right to us! You've got 90 seconds, Eli. Talk. Batman. Shut that thing off right now! You're... you're insane! You'll kill us all! It's counting down, Eli. What are you going to do about it? You're bluffing. There's cops outside this door. You're gonna get us all killed! Maybe. Maybe not. Are you willing to take the chance? I'll tell you! Please, just... just make it stop! He's on a ship in Gotham Bay! What ship? Uh, the Lady of Dublin. The missiles are there, too. This is where they're launched from. You're crazier than he is! Oh... Oh, god damn! The Lady of Dublin. Get back up and meet me there. Batman. Gordon's still gonna be pissed you went around him. But I appreciate you holding back.
Armed men on board. This must be it. Be careful, Bruce. Who knows what the Riddler has up his sleeve? Agency imbeciles. We found him. You and your, your interrogation of Riddler's man produced solid intelligence. No sight of the missiles yet, though. They must be here somewhere. Then it's hard to blame individuals for institutional incompetence. The agency has a history of terrible. A good spot for cover. Your agency has been on my heels far too long. You're relentless. I'll admit it's going to feel satisfying to get my revenge on your predecessors. Even if you're really just a small part of my plan. What are you talking about? Wait for You'll it. see what I mean soon, of course. They Don't want him raising an alarm. Here, but I'll move when he is They understand okay. why. They'll recognize my brilliance. After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. It's often a struggle making people see that. You think? You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smarter than me. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online. Ready, Bruce. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Poor Eli held out longer than I expected, but I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. I heard a lot of people doing what I do. 
My code is how I stay human. <laughs> it's why I'm out here, and you're in there. About to meet your maker. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I could just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! <laughs> it's me you want. Not Agent Avesta. Let her go! Oh no, she needs to be in there with you. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die Speak otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! Ha. Here's your prize! Oh my god. Iman! What have you done? Enough, Riddler. You made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. Missiles. Use the bad cam to make it hard of the cage. And use a Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. Definitely not you. What are you doing? No, 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 no! 
Impossible! You, you think you're clever, don't you? You... you don't impress me! Clever, don't you? You... you... Clever, don't you? You... Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! God, I, I didn't think, I didn't think we were going to make it. I, I thought... You're reckless, Iman. You're lucky you're alive. Agent, are you okay? My ears! I can't hear! It's going to be okay, Iman. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Well, congratulations, Batman. You managed even in my twisted game to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Avestus suffered, so no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. Iman knew the risks. 
She would have endured anything to bring you down. Sounds like you have good things to say about her. If only she could still hear you. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. Set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. Your comrades thought you went too far. I saw their messages. They were afraid your stunts would get my attention. They were right. They'll regret this. All of them. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, God damn it. I hope it was worth it, Batman. Worth it? Riddler's a damn corpse. We got an agent bleeding from the years. We're not getting a shred of usable testimony out of Eli Naval. Not after you beat him half to death in my custody. You went behind my back with Waller and buried the investigation in the process. This... This is beyond the goddamn pale. What were you thinking? How could you undermine me like that? Don't take it so personally, Jim. I had to go through your suspect to get to Riddler. Leaving me with a police brutality lawsuit and a PR mess. The trust between us... It's gone. Our partnership is over. No more sharing evidence. No more squad car backup. The GCPD can't support you anymore. You're being unreasonable, Gordon. You need my help protecting Gotham. If what happened at the precinct is protecting Gotham, I want no part of it. I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from Mabel. You on the other hand, Gordon. Well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair! This mess here? That's on you. Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... Now wait a damn minute! You're stonewalling the agency has screwed us all! You think you could have done better? Way I see it. There's one less bad guy in Gotham. I don't know whether I could have done better. I do know you could have. If we'd have been working together from the start. Why, you... Not another word, Commissioner. Consider it a kindness I don't just straight up get you demoted. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. 
Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.